Geometry students from near and far, welcome to another Khan Academy tutorial on find angles in isosceles triangles. Let's jump right in. Find the value of x in the triangle shown below. Well, first thing we should probably talk about is what is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle is one that has two equal sides. Now, if it has two equal sides, okay, that means the third side is different. So I'm going to designate that with two lines because it's different than the other two sides. If I'm going to change it to color two to red or whatever color that is. The other thing I want to talk about is if it has two equal sides and also has two equal angles with a third distinct angle. Okay, so this is my expertly drawn triangle right here. That's isosceles. So now we can use that information to help us solve these problems. So let's try to find the missing angle in this first one. We have an isosceles triangle here. How do I know it's isosceles? Because we have seven and seven, okay? That means these two angles are congruent. That x is gonna be equal to the x. Now, how do I know that? Like, oh, how do you figure that out so easily? Well, the, the isosceles legs, the legs are always equal. So these are legs right here, okay? So these are legs. And then the base touches the legs. Uh, where's my base? This is the base. And the base is always a different measure, okay? So in this case, it's nine. Now, the legs form an angle that's called the vertex angle. And the vertex angle is the one that's different. And then the other angles, these are called the base angles, are the same, okay? So these are base angles, okay? So the base angles are the same. So just identifying which one are the base angles, which one's the vertex is important, okay? And I think the important thing is the vertex is formed by the two legs of the isosceles triangle, okay? So now that we got that squared away, let's go ahead and set up our problem. One of the things we need to know, or that we should have known, is that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180, okay? So we're gonna add some things together and we know it's gonna equal 180. What are we gonna add? Well, we know that the base angle plus the other base angle that are the same, x is gonna be equal to x, those two angles are the same, plus our vertex angle, 80, remember that vertex angle is the unique angle, is gonna equal 180. So now we just have a simple uh, multi-step equation which we're trying to get x by itself. We have combined like terms here, so we're gonna get 2x equals 180 minus 80, and we get 100. I did two steps kind of at once there, combine like terms, subtract 80 from both sides, Hope you guys were able to follow along. Now I divide by two and I get x equals 50 degrees. Let's double check that. If this was 50 and that is 50, that's 100 plus 80, 180. That checks out, so x equals 50 degrees. Okay, next question. Find the value of x in the triangle shown below. So we're asked to find another angle. Okay, the sides aren't too important. The only thing we need to know about the sides are which ones are congruent. So we have these two congruent. That means those are the legs. The legs come together to form the vertex angle. So now this guy is the unique one, and these two are congruent. So I know this guy is 39. I'm gonna go ahead and write him in because I know he needs to be same, the same as this other base angle over there. So now X is by himself, okay? He's alone, and we need to have this all add up to 180. So I'm gonna put 180 over here, equals and equals, and we're gonna have some addition going on. What addition do we have? Well, we have 39, one of the base angles, plus the other base angle, plus x equals 180. So now I just have a simple problem. I'm gonna combine like terms first. Give me a moment, 39 plus 39, I think that's 78. Yes, it is, I don't know why I use a calculator. You gotta trust yourself sometimes, you know? I don't know why I didn't trust myself. Plus x equals 180. And now I just subtract 78, this time no calculator. So I subtract 78, subtract 78, and guess what I get? I get x equals 102. So x equals 102 degrees, okay? Another way to uh, do this one, obviously that's the easiest way. So you double these angles, okay? Double that, and then subtract that from 180, and you get your x, okay? Double a base angle, because there's two of them. There's always two times a base angle, and subtract from 180 to get your missing angle. So this, this time it's 102, 102. All right, next question. Okay, which ones are vertex? Which ones are base angles? This one's the vertex. Take a second to, to figure out why. You got it? Okay, well, it's because these are congruent. 
Those are the bases, and the base angles always point to the congruent legs. So this is also x. This is x. Now, since we know we're going to be adding all the angles up and setting equal to 180, I'm just going to go ahead and write 2x plus 58 equals 180. Okay. Now, like before, we did 180 minus the ba base angles, and that's going to be equal to our angle. It's very similar, but now we're just going to do 180 minus the vertex angle, and then divide by 2. Okay, so that's kind of a short way to do it, minus 58, and then we divide that by, hold on, let me get this going here, 2x equals 122, and then we divide by 2. We're always going to divide by 2 if we're looking for a base angle because there's two of them, and they're exact same measurement, so we get, what is it, 61? Yes, it is. Okay, so now we got x equals 61. This isn't too bad, is it? Now the next step, and this isn't going to be in this Khan Academy, but there's going to be probably some extra variables involved. So I found my, uh, my congruent sides. That means these are my base angles. This time I know my base angles. So I can double 56 to get both my base angles, and that's 112. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 180, or 112, from 180, and this will tell me what my vertex angle is. That, it's, it's that simple. So I do 180 minus 112, and that gives me 68. So I get 68 degrees, and that's going to equal x. Okay, let's just double check it, showing my formula. So we have, uh, I'll use green, 56 plus 56 plus my vertex angle equals 180. Okay, and like I said, this is 112 plus x equals 180. See how I'm just using the same process I just described, minus 112 and we get 68. Okay, so x equals 68. And that's it, folks. You'll get this sound, and you'll hear this sound, and you'll be happy, and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.